Good morning, Trika, from rainy and beautiful Seattle, Washington. Um, I am a huge fan of yours. I discovered you with your um, first video on a commentary in, Afri in Africa, a preacher. And ever since then, I've just been following you and laughing along and enjoying the ride. I think that you have a beautiful gift on taking mundane or crazy political issues or news stories and um, spinning them into something that's humorous. And what you're doing essentially is bringing humor back into our lives. And I think humanity really needs that, especially with all the suffering and all the horrible things that are going on, you know, whether it's politically, geographically, economically. Um, and you just really have been bringing the world your beautiful gift of your humor and your point of view. So I wanna thank you for that. I've been loving it immensely um, in your cats too. Uh, so my question to you is, what influenced you? What prompted you? What got you into journalism? Um, what ideas struck in your mind to be like, hey, my life here in Syria is incredible. I am a funny guy, hairy dude, and I just want the world to be uh, privy to my life. I want to know what that process um, was that and how you came about to becoming Tureka Z all over social media platforms. Thank you. Yo, good morning, Tatiana. How are you doing? Well, first of all, thank you so much for your beautiful message. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And yeah, how did I become the hairy man that I am today? Well, the truth is that from a very young age, I've always enjoyed making my friends and loved ones laugh. So it has always been part of my personality. So I remember after I graduated from university, I started doing stand-up comedy shows in bars and clubs and cafes, and that's how I started gaining support locally and online. And this was when uh, the war in Syria had already started. So I started looking at the news and noticed that the majority of the mainstream media are reporting lies about the war in Syria. For an example, when Obama was funding and sending money and weapons to ISIS, the mainstream media were calling them moderate rebels and freedom fighters. You know, they were portraying them as these heroes that were doing God's work, when in reality they were killing, bombing, beheading, and sexually harassing our goats. So I started looking for other sources to find someone that is reporting the truth about Syria, but unfortunately I only found a few and I support them all uh, so you know I told myself I was like you know what I'm a Syrian I live in Syria I have a platform so why don't I use it to report and tell people the truth about what is going on in my country and yeah me being a comedian I was able to report about the news in a funny but educative way and here we are I hope that answered your question. Thank you again so much for your support and I hope you will stick around because trust me, I am only getting started. Peace!